All right, what's up, everybody? It's uh, it's Crashy. I'm gonna try to keep this brief, uh, because I know my DMs are blowing up, and I did definitely troll. So if you saw my post, you basically saw that I said that I had a friend that worked with Deddy, and I went from 165 FPS to 350 frames. Well, this is bullshit. Uh, and the reason I did this is because I'm trying to bring awareness to the fact that there is no secret method There are some things you can do to your PC. Uh, there are some things that you can do to increase FPS um, But this post right here This is a controlled benchmark meaning I stood in the exact same place that he gets all of his Clients or the people that he works with to stand in I am in a game where I have built nothing nothing has been built minus these two walls there are no other players in here. I just landed here. I took a recording of this spot and I went and found the highest FPS screenshot I could find. I actually think there was a 388 in there somewhere, but I couldn't find it. So this actually was varying, just standing still in playground with no other players connected to the server, no other additional builds, no additional memory in the game. This actually varied down into like the 260s even, which if you guys know, the, the, the thing to know about Fortnite is that this game is optimized to shit. This game is not optimized well, and it doesn't matter. Like, you're going to get crappy frames in endgame. You're going to get crappy frames when a lot of stuff is going on. That's literally how FPS works. But that said, there are still some things that you can do, and I'm going to talk a little bit about them, and it's going to be very vague because there is no, you know, kind of like magic trick to uh, fixing FPS, and that's the whole point. This guy is uh is selling this he's system admin tech support i mean I, I work in technology i work on computers every day and there's no secret trick to it so let's talk about this if you have an nvidia graphics card um here i have the shortcut over here there are some things you can do first and foremost i'm running my game at 1600 by 900 resolution which is going to be a, sh a smaller version of 1920 by 1080, which is 16 by nine resolution. So in the game, I'm actually running at 1600 by 900 resolution, which gives me better frames because it's not as big a resolution. And that's what stretched res did. That's it's basically the same concept. Now I opened up my Nvidia control panel. So if you have an Nvidia graphics card, you can go to manage 3D settings. And there are a lot of graphical settings that you can just turn off. If you look through these, you can literally look through them and you'll see most of these are just off for me. I mean, I just turn everything off. The quality, texture filtering quality I have on a high performance. I'm not getting good quality. Um, V-Sync off, triple buffering, buffering, threaded off. I mean, literally look at all these settings. Natively, normally, a lot of these are on or set to application controlled, set to high quality or quality, and these will raise or lower your fps because it's using more of your gpu to process these graphics now here's the thing to note when you update your graphics drivers it will normally if you do a clean install of your graphics drivers which some of y'all probably do it will normally turn all of these settings back to default so if i was to press restore and it set all these back to default it does the same thing when you update your graphics drivers so some of you guys don't even know that these these settings exist and um yeah this can hurt your fps a little bit now Let's close that and I'm going to look up power and sleep settings on Windows and you can go to additional power settings. Uh, you can put it on recommended, go to change plan settings. Uh, you never need this stuff to turn off. Go to advanced power settings. Now advanced power settings. The, the main ones you need is you need your hard disk drive to or your hard drive to basically have zero minutes so you don't ever want it to go off. And you need your USB to be set to disabled. You don't ever want your USBs to turn off and you want your PCIe Express slot to be off. These, this is gonna allow your computer to just soak up a bunch of power. You can also put it on high performance mode. Uh, I feel like that does a little bit more and you don't really need it, but you could. I mean, you can toy around with it. Every computer is a little bit different. We're all running mix and matched pieces of hardware. So um, try doing the settings that I said or try doing high performance and seeing which one makes your computer run a little bit better. Um, the other thing to know, and this is something I'm not going to get into because first and foremost, I can't record it, is that you can overclock your CPU. Your central processing unit on your computer can be overclocked. You can push your computer's performance um, by overclocking. And the reason I'm not going to be doing that, and you can actually see my CPU said just 60% Epic Game Launcher is soaking up a bunch of that right now, OBS for this recording. Uh, the reason I'm not overclocking my CPU is because I don't like the way that it makes my computer run. I think it runs a little bit too hot. 
I do have water cooling in it. It is a little bit dangerous. And you, while you can get away with light CPU overclocking, um, you have to be careful with stuff like that. If you don't really know what you're doing, then I wouldn't recommend it. And again, realistically, when you hit end game in Fortnite in an unoptimized game, that's, <laughs> that's basically a crazy uh, game like Fortnite, you're not <laughs> you're not really gonna get that much FPS boost anyways now I'm gonna show you some some light other things that you can do um, There is this application called C cleaner You can install the free version of it and this is going to help clean up your machine a little bit This is temporary internet files um, temp files in your app data folder um, Just this unnecessary internet cookies. This helps keep your drive clean. You can run it it's gonna clean up mine. I actually haven't done it in a while. Here's the thing, it will delete cached data and like saved internet profiles. So if you do this and you, it's gonna ask me if I wanna close Chrome, I'm gonna say no. Uh, but if you do let it clean up Chrome and let it clean up whatever browser you're using, uh, it will log you out of some of those things. And um, you know, it'll tell you these little things that doesn't really matter. But what does matter is it removed 795 megabytes from my computer and it's mostly, you know, thumbnail cache, like cached files, multimedia files, um, and just random internet temporary files and cookies now registry registry keys can stack up and I'm not going to try to jump into what this means but you can actually scan for old or obsolete bad registry keys and you can get rid of these registry keys uh, with CCleaner as well so these are a bunch of registry keys from overwatch I don't even know why I maybe because I uninstalled it recently um, some other other random registry keys and um, fix selected I don't need a backup of these registry keys I'm gonna say no fix selected boom those random registry keys are gone tools this acts as an uh, uninstall right here uninstall programs basically add or remove programs which you can find in your control panel and know what's on your computer if I scroll through here and I see anything that I'm not comfortable with uh, I will delete it but everything in here I have installed myself I know exactly where it's going I use it I play it I operate it within it I mean some of these are native apps and stuff that I don't use but I don't really care about those and you can delete some of that stuff like I could delete uninstall the weather app I don't care if I have the weather app on my PC um, but other than that, know what is on your computer. You don't need toolbars and too many browsers and a bunch of plugins and all this, that, and the other. So know what's on your computer. That's important for computer maintenance. I'm going to go to my file explorer. And this is actually one thing I'm looking at right now. My C drive, which is my four, like 500 gigabyte SSD is actually getting pretty full. So I'm probably going to have to shuffle some things around, but keep your drive not tapped out like this you need a clean drive so your your game can function and you can you have room for updates and patches and things like that um so i i mean i have two other terabytes that i can use it doesn't really matter i'll just move some of my games off of my ssd but every time uh fortnite makes an update this gets a little bit more full and the same thing goes for your drive as well you're adding data to this you need a clean drive if you don't have a solid state drive i recommend you do it i have my operating system which is windows 10 and fortnite running on a solid state drive this is a huge optimization in terms of hardware um i guess to talk about hardware that's kind of the basis of getting better fps and getting better performance to begin with you need better hardware to get better performance I have a seventh generation i7 I think it's at like 3.6 gigahertz um, I have a Nvidia 1080 Ti I mean this is high-end equipment pretty good equipment I mean I could upgrade a little bit I could maybe put more RAM in my machine a better you know or bigger memory and stuff like that but it's not gonna change my performance that much and unless you're dropping like four or five thousand uh, dollars you, you're not gonna see a lot more performance than what I'm getting and that like 380 frames screenshot is not what I get I get like 160 I get like less than that in endgame and I'm running a pretty high-end machine I'm running like a two thousand dollar computer back when I built it um, and it's probably not even that much cheaper than that now so these are some common cleanup things that you can do I mean try to keep your your PC clean like you know go in your downloads folder clean this stuff out you know don't want to I don't know what's in there but uh, go in your downloads folder clean that stuff out don't keep a lot of stuff just like randomly saved everywhere keep your computer clean put things in folders and uh, you know know where you're installing your programs know what programs you're installing and ultimately that will uh, help you keep your PC running better and uh, oh yeah I do have one more thing uh, right click taskbar task manager which I have on the other screen and startup you do not need a bunch of uh, programs running on your startup 
I only have, what, four? So I have Razer Synapse for my Razer products, Corsair Link for my fan curves, because I do have a custom fan curves, Gyaz and GY Station, which I use for screenshotting with Gyazo, uh, which is just a preference, and uh, Discord, which, because I pretty much always turn Discord on in my Realtek audio driver or manager. I don't even think I need this on, but whatever. Um, you, you don't need every program on your computer to start up whenever you start up. Um, and feel free to monitor your performance as you, you you know you're watching things. If you have your task manager open, if you have an extra monitor, uh, watch your your CPU and your memory, and uh, you know monitor your uh, computer's temperatures and and make sure that you're not overheating because that can bottleneck you as well. Make sure that you're uh, you know you're not tapping out your CPU. If your CPU is hitting 100, percent you're going to lose FPS. So you need to close some things. If you're playing for performance, close everything. Like when I'm doing World Cup qualifiers, I literally don't run anything but Fortnite. I turn my monitors off or I close everything on my other monitors. Don't run any social media, no OBS, no stream, no Discord, nothing. And I just uh, play the game. So that's kind of a really, really vague basic guide on how to boost FPS and, and just get better performance on a computer. But again, the Deddy method or whatever this Deddy guy is saying he's doing is nothing special. And if he is doing anything client specific, that it's just that it's client specific. He's going into the specifics of what their hardware is. He's helping them optimize CPU settings with uh, overclocking. He might be teaching them a little bit about fan curves and how to cool their machine better to keep it, you know, uh, and, and then other than that, he's doing all the basic stuff that I explained here. Uh, so that's the trick. There isn't a trick. So yeah.